for joining me for another video so as you can tell from the title this is gonna be a tutorial on this monochromatic look and I am loving this so freaking much I'm just like I need to do more so be on the lookout I'm probably gonna have uh, more of these like monochromatic tutorials going on um, maybe not back to back to back but it is definitely probably gonna be a series on my channel um, if you do like the idea please comment below I want to know if you know you're down with the sauce <laughs> anyway I'm pretty like all over the place but that's because I'm like working on my like third cup of coffee and I'm just like I need to slow the F down anyways I do hope you like this video don't forget to give me a little thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you have and you know you want to be part of that notification squad you have to click that little bell thing so you're notified when I have new videos and I think I'm done right now with my intro anyway follow me on social media Instagram Twitter snapchat and yeah, let's just get into it. I by my side like a monkey on my back. It's been a ride. Okay, so as per usual, I'm gonna prime my lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And then I'm gonna set all that with my Too Faced Smoothing Pressed Powder. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. They made it permanent now, I think, so you can easily grab it. So for my all over lid color, I'm gonna be using the color MFEO. It's the lightest uh, brown, it almost doesn't show up, but I feel it's crucial for the look because then your browns blend even better and more seamlessly. So the main color is this really beautiful chocolate brown that's called Mocha. I'm applying it all over my mobile lid and you're going to see I'm going to like create a sort of winged shape. It's going to look super harsh at first but don't worry we're going to be blending all that seamlessly afterwards. It's just I wanted to make sure that I have that really nice um, winged effect. And now I'm going to go in with this really fluffy brush to blend out the edges. I really want to take my time with this step because even though I want to keep the shape, I still want it to look really nice and diffused. To create uh, a more smoky effect and add a little bit more dimension to the look, I'm gonna apply this cool tone brown called Central Park in my outer V and I'm just gonna blend it into my crease and then go in with a fluffy brush and uh, diffuse it so that it continues to look, um, so it doesn't look sharp. And that's my cat. Hi Layla. <laughs> little bit more coffee what's your favorite coffee I want to know in the comment section <laughs> I'm gonna recreate what I did um, to my bottom lashes I'm starting in with the lighter color MFEO and then I'm gonna go in with mocha Over here, I went a little bit uh, too far in the wrong direction, so I'm going in with a fluffy brush and blending everything. Just blending makes everything alright again. And 
since I've already applied powder to my face and all that, I'm going to use this uh, loose translucent powder to clean up um, my outer rings again so like the shade goes back to what I intended. Still mirroring what I did um, to my bottom lash, I'm going to apply Central Park um, in the outer corner of my lower lash line. Blend, blend, blend! Then I'm going to tight line using this contour comb by L'Oreal. I'm going to apply uh, mascara to my lashes and this one is the Roller Lash by Benefit. Then I'm going to apply um, falsies and these ones are by Huda Beauty in the style Scarlet. For blush, I went for this soft dusty nude color and it's the Love Flush blush from Too Faced in Baby Love and applied it on the apples of my cheeks. This blush is the perfect color to go with this monochromatic brown look because it doesn't like, it's not too pinkish. I do feel however that I added a little bit too much so I went in with my powder brush that still had some left over uh, to blend it out and nude out that color a bit more. Then for highlighter I'm gonna go in with the Immunity Powder by um, Laura Mercier in the color Candlelight. This stuff was made for tan skin just looks so beautiful and it's not over the top obviously you can add more and make it more blinging but at the time of applying this I thought this would be good As I was highlighting, I realized that I forgot to add a brow bone color and for that I went in with Silk Cream and Beam. And then at that time I realized who the heck am I fooling, I'm gonna go in with more highlighter and I used the Master Chrome Metallic by Maybelline. This stuff is amazing. I don't know if they have more colors, I should check. but. For a drugstore highlighter, this is just so beautiful and it is beaming without adding any, you know, Fix Plus or anything like that. It's just dope. Then for my lower lashes, I'm applying the Extended Play Giga Black Lash mascara by MAC. This stuff is amazing. We're almost done so I'm gonna go in and line my lips with um, this lip liner by MAC and it's in the color Chestnut. And finally, for the lips, I'm going in with Brown Sugar by Kylie Cosmetics. I do have a couple of, I have like two videos swatching some of her lipsticks, so if you're interested in that, check out the cards. Oh God damn, you made me feel sweet. And if I'm losing my mind Would you lose yours with me? You made me wanna melt Like water in the pain 